my name is Andrew. I'm a rising freshman in Palo Alto High School, and this is my vacuum robot. So the main reason why I wanted to create and build this robot was because I want to make something that's very useful and that can benefit everyone, because everyone needs to eventually vacuum their room, and not everyone likes doing so. So I just turn this on, and I have these status lights that will just blink. So you have to wait because uh, the fan in here takes some time to actually start sucking. It prevents from falling off the table. Put your hand in front of it. I also have a bumper. So, and let's start sucking. ground IR sensors or infrared sensors which will prevent it from falling off tables as well as I have these two in the front so if you if there's a wall in front of it it'll prevent from hitting the wall and let's say you're vacuuming like under a chair and or a table you might have like table legs and the infrared sensors might not detect that you have this bumper um, just for yeah so let's go and look open it up so right here, this is how the inside looks like. I have the, my fan, which is going to be sucking in all the dirt and dust that you collect. And that will go into this container. And yeah, I collected some of the paper that I put down on the table. So I have this filter, just like many vacuum filters or vacuum bags. It's the same filter right there. And these two motors will be used for uh, basically driving the, what is it called? The robot around, and I have my main uh, what's it called my main Arduino board. So all my components are connected to that, and I program that. So, for example, if these front sensors say like, "Oh no, there's a wall in front of it," then the Arduino will understand like, "Okay, motors go backwards and turn away from it." So that's basically how the Arduino uh, takes that input and does and like goes away from the obstacle. So uh, what else is here? Yeah, I have these two push buttons. So if either of them are hit, then for, the, for my bumper, if either of them are hit, then it will uh, go away from the obstruction. So my greatest challenge would probably be programming my uh, ground sensors because these are sharp distance IR sensors, meaning you can actually calculate or measure the distance between the sensor and the object. So they're very sensitive and they're very close to the ground, so you might not get the most accurate reading. And I've tried stuff like creating my own functions, using ternary operators, bitwise or, uh, other complicated stuff like that. But in the end, I just uh, created a conditional statement which allow and uh, analog read. So I just take the value coming from the sensors, and I measure the threshold. So if the value from the sensors is greater than, uh, for my case, 150, that means it's safely on the ground. But if it's uh, below 150, that means it's going to fall off. So that's how I went around that challenge. Uh, I would like to thank Blue Stamp for helping me, as well as exposing me to documentation, as well as uh, creating my own schematics because when I'm just doing my projects at home, I never really documented anything or uh, created my own schematics. So, yeah, please stay to help me out with that. Thank you for listening. Is there any questions? Or comments? Uh, yeah. How long is the battery? Uh, uh, th 30 minutes on an hour. So is your mom gonna pay you? Because this is doing your chores? Oh no. <laughs> Hopefully. It's negotiations on camera, by the way. <laughs> what else would you want to add to this? Well, I I'm currently working on the code because I'm using this lithium polymer battery in here. It's this yellow battery right here. And it has a weird characteristic, characteristic 
that it's bullshit sagging, meaning when you put a LiPo battery under a really high load, it tends to decrease a lot of voltage. And then when you de and then when you take off that load, then suddenly the voltage goes back up. So I want to create a code that will sort of ignore that because what happens was, or with my older code, I actually changed the code for this one, but my older code, which I have condition another conditional statement saying if the battery voltage goes below a certain threshold, then it will turn off the fan and stop moving. Uh, that was a problem because of the voltage sagging. It created, it detected a voltage below uh, my threshold, and then when I turned it off, it's actually the voltage a lot higher. So I'm trying to figure that out. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah.